الحمد للہ حمد طیب مبارک فی کما یحب ربنا جل وعلا ویرضا وصل اللہ وسلم على نبینا محمد وعلا آلہ وصحبہ اول النہا وعلا من سارا على اثرہم وقتفا اما بعد ایو لحبت فی اللہ As Ramadan is approaching, we have to be aware of those things which will break our fasting or will ruin our fasting when we are fasting to Allah Azza wa Jal. And some of the things, Ahabat al as we've mentioned uh, prior to this, and we'll keep this very brief without uh, getting extensively into the evidences for this, but we'll just mention these mufsadat because I have mentioned it uh, in some of the videos that I did last year uh, with the, the details and with the uh, evidences from Kitabi wa Sunnah. So the first thing that breaks your fast, of course, is eating and drinking and food and things that uh, go down to go from, from your mouth into your throat or from your nose and they go into your throat towards your uh, uh, stomach. So this, of course, breaks your fast. And this is uh, well known, of course, that taking external uh, food and drink will break your fast. The second thing, ahabat is a jima, meaning to have sexual relations. So this also, of course, uh, breaks your fasting and along with the eating and, and drinking this of course is am, uh, amdin, that you did it uh, intentionally so if you did it unintentionally you completely forgot you took a sip of water or something like this this doesn't uh, break your fast because you didn't intend that and you should continue your fast and with jima with having sexual relations this also breaks your fast and, of course, the person who does this, they have to make kafara, and we'll talk about this in the future of the expiation for this, because this is the major kafara. So in this situation, they should free a slave, a uh, believing slave, and, of course, which is probably near impossible in this time and age. So then they should fast shahrain mutatabi'in meaning they should fast two consecutive months back to back without breaking um, uh, breaking it should be consecutive um, or if they're unable to do that then they should feed 60 uh, miskin the third thing which breaks uh, breaks your fast is to uh, ejaculate by choice or by you know by something that you had a choice in preventing as well meaning for example the person uh, as we know the Prophet wasallam used to kiss his wives during uh, Ramadan as well while he was fasting letting us know that the action of kissing, of course, does not break your fast. However, if that kissing leads to something else or the kissing causes you to uh, ejaculate, then, of course, you should not do so and that will break your uh, fast. So if massaging or touching uh, and, of course, also uh, masturbation, is also impermissible and these things can break your fast because then you're not controlling your shahwa and secondly that that's one aspect is you're not controlling your desires in in the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which uh where the hadith qudsi where allah subhanahu the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that allah azza wa jal said yada ta'amuhu wa sharabuhu wa shahwatuhu min ajli that he talking about the servant that he left his food and his drinking and his desires for my sake this is the one who is 
fasting for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so some of the ulama, they use this to say, uh, they use this as dalil, as evidence, to say that, of course, food and drink and not restraining your shahwa. So that if a person, even if they uh, were masturbating, or even if they uh, were uh, kissing and, and doing other, uh, having intimate uh, activities with their spouse, that these things, akramakum Allah, would also break your fasting because you haven't restrained your shahwa. This is what some, but, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, the important thing is definitely uh, doing those things which does not cause you to be aroused and very important to avoid uh, uh, e ejaculating and those things which will uh, lead you up to that. You know, Ramadan, it should be imsak. You should be refraining and being patient upon the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is to fast the month of Ramadan. Another thing which breaks the fast So uh, again, uh, just, just to make sure that it was clear what I said, that kissing and of course touching and things like this are permissible, but you should avoid it if it's going to cause your desires, you know, you to become aroused and so forth. But if it causes you to uh, ejaculate, then you've broken your fast. Uh, another <coughs> thing which... Another issue that arises, what about if you have a wet dream? A wet dream is out of your control because you weren't doing any actions, nor were you, uh, you know, engaged in any activities. You, as long as you're not watching pornography, you're not doing anything like this while you're fasting. So uh, having a wet dream, of course, does not uh, break your fast. You should hustle and continue your fasting. Uh, another Another uh, thing which breaks your fast is, uh, for example, of the person, if they do hijama, they do cupping. So if they have cupping done to them, as a, in one hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, uh, that the person who is cupping and getting cupped, that they've broken their fast. And so the ulama from this also deduce that also this is a prohibition for giving donating blood and so forth that you shouldn't donate blood while you're fasting as well and also they're related to that even from a logical point of view is you're already generally from fasting you're already weak and if you donate blood too and then you don't you're unable to replenish this can also be a danger for you as well another thing which uh, breaks fast is of course when a woman's uh, menses, uh, her her menstrual cycle is upon her, meaning that you know she has her she has menstruation. So if a woman is fasting and her menses comes, of course she breaks her fast. She she does not fast, and she will make up those days that she missed in, in fasting. And all, likewise, a nifas, meaning the post. Uh, the, the blood after childbirth that this blood also breaks the fast as well another thing which breaks our fast is if a person intentionally vomits so intentionally vomiting also uh, breaks a person's fast and those are some of the most important things with regards to uh, breaking our fast and that we should be cautious and careful about our desires and of course eating and drinking and uh, uh, and and other and otherwise and watching our speech and so forth our actions 
But however, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, even if a person is, uh, as we know from the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu that also that's, that's uh, very serious if a person uh, is, has vile speech or something like this. But as far as breaking it, their fast, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, but definitely it will uh, make a person's ajr less. The reward they will receive will be much less and perhaps, possibly, if they're foul mouth and they're speaking and ghiba and namima and lying about people and whatever activities they're engaged with, whatever sinful activity, possibly, maybe Allah will not even accept their fasting. So we don't want to be in that situation. We want to avoid those things and avoid doubtful things. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa sallam.